you move containers basically the same way that you move a trailer around but because there are some differences between the two i feel like might as well go ahead and make a, a little video about containers real quick so the biggest difference between a container and a trailer is that the container comes off of the frame the frame that moves the container around is called a chassis so with that being said when you're going to get a container from the port or the railroads or wherever you need to go get it you'll have to get a chassis first now a chassis might be at the same spot that you're going for example at norfolk ports they also have chassis that you can rent out as well as well as getting your container at the same time portsmouth ports for example you they don't have chassis there the company that you're running for might have their own chassis or they might have some uh, a private company that use their own chassis in which case you wouldn't get chassis from anywhere else you would just go to that specific place and then grab a chassis from there and then take it where you need to go uh, but other than that extra step I mean that's the biggest step that you have to do once your container gets on top of the chassis the chassis has four pins on each corner of the chassis in which case you would go push the pins in or you would uh, basically turn it a quarter so the pins can be locked usually at the front the nose of the chassis there'll be like some rods that you push in and then at the back of it there'll be like a like a triangular shaped type of locking mechanism that you turn it a quarter and it'll rotate and then it'll lock so the chassis doesn't move up and down once you're get you know on the road going over bumps anything like that for some of the smaller ones, like any 20 footers, then they'll usually have the little triangular type of locking mechanism on all four corners. Okay, so that's how you lock the container onto the chassis. Another thing that you want to know about is the sizes of containers. Now, you know, usually a trailer has a 50 they go as long as 53s but they also got like 42s and 30s and stuff like that but usually the containers the most that i've actually ran are 40s those are the um basically the default size 40 footers as far as containers so that is a significant <laughs> size less for a trailer versus you know a container so even when you compare a 45 footer to a 53 footer you know that's still an extra eight feet in length over the 50 for the 53 footer so containers are just in general or just less it'll be easier for you to navigate when you you know you're driving down the road on top of having the 45 in the 40s you have the 20 and the 20s are just like i said they're 20 foot sometimes some people put two 20s together and they can run down the road with chassis like that or they'll put them on a flatbed and then have you know the containers on top of the chassis and then they'll just strap it down like they would um like anything else on a flatbed they also have chassis that extend and detract so you can have a chassis that's a 40 to 45 and you would just go ahead and unlock it and then slide it whichever way you need it to go with that being said I have not seen a chassis that uh, slides the tandems. I believe that is only for trailers. Somebody can let me know in the comment section if you ever seen a chassis that has sliding tandems, but I haven't seen it. So trying to adjust it, you know, 500 pounds here, 500 pounds there, that's not going to happen. As far as the height, containers usually are well there's no real usually because people there's a standard size and then there's a high cube size the high cube size is 12 inches higher than uh, the standard standards eight and a half the high cube is nine and a half a high cube on top of a chassis should be no higher than 13 and a half inches 13 and a half feet i said 13 and a half inches but um <laughs> So any, um, so any uh, underpass that you're going that's 
13 and a half or over, you should be perfectly fine. I say should because, you know, sometimes you might have to, you know, check the chassis yourself because especially when you have a 20 footer, because as far as the 20 footers are a little bit taller, like give or take it four to six inches. So there's a possibility that you might not be able to go under a 13 and a half inch on that one. So the last thing I would say about dealing with containers is that when you're moving a chassis, right? while they have lights on the chassis really if you're using uh trying to use blinking lights you know you try to use your turn signals the turn signals are only in the back of the chassis they don't have any turn signals for the sides they have lights on the sides but it, they don't have any turning signals and you know some trailers have that so if you're used to running with trailers that have the the signal lights on the side that should the that let people know when you're going to turn then you go to a chassis that might kind of you know confuse you a little bit yeah so that's everything i want to talk about as far as working with containers especially when you're used to working with trailers so there might have been a few other differences between the two that I might have forgotten. If so, and you know about it, then go ahead and leave a comment for everybody else so they can know what the differences are as well. And if you want to know more about the process of moving containers to ports or from ports, then you should check out this video that's popping up right about now because I talk about the process of that here.